those days of watching Frank go against Ethan, you come out of practice on Monday and you know what, Ethan might not be able to play here. And then you come out of practice on Tuesday, you know what, he might be pretty good down the road. And then you come out of practice on Wednesday and go, he could play for us right now. And then you're into Thursday and you go, you know what, I'm not sure about Ethan. Don't miss, <laughs> don't miss the cameras here, don't miss now. <laughs> oh, watch out, watch out Ethan shooting, sir. I don't think you can uh, stand so cautiously now with him around. Oh, here it comes again, another miss. You know this is on film, right? I came into Wisconsin thinking that I would be kind of like a three or four, like slasher type player. And uh, once I was the tallest guy on the scout team, I was always there opposing center. I was already redshirting, so you're frustrated being a redshirt, not being able to contribute to the team like you want to. I remember the first day they put me on scout team. Called my dad right after practice and said, Dad, they gave me a yellow penny. and. Um, we had a long talk about that, about how it, it really shook me up that I wasn't good enough because that had been the first time in my life that I wasn't good enough to contribute on a team. He would get down on himself all the time and it was starting to become cancerous, if you will, to the team in terms of like, you being down on yourself is pulling everybody else down, it's pulling the rest of the scout team down and it's making us look like we're killing y'all even though we really aren't. You just play it so bad that we're getting buckets off of it because you're giving up. So finally we had enough of it. We called it an Ethan Benson <laughs> instead of an intervention. And we just sat down and all threw out our two cents like you know, on, on things that he had to change if, uh, if he wanted to have any success or survive here at all. Practice with him now is complete 180. It's like, dang. We need a bucket, get Ethan the ball, you know what I mean? We need to stop it. Put Ethan, I'm sick of Ethan, <laughs> you know, go get him, man. Vito has really helped me adjust to college life and get through that redshirting year. With being on the scout team, he had been there before, been through the trials and tribulations that I went through when I first got here. So for have someone like that, it's really special.